anemia is so prevalent that a third of the world's population actually has it. It could actually be fatal. You can literally drop dead from anemia. Unfortunately and ironically, areas where there's the highest incidence of anemia, those are areas in which the testing is cost prohibitive. They don't have a lot of physicians there. They don't have clinical laboratories that run tests. But what they do have is brand new mobile phone infrastructure. In some of these countries, it's much easier to find a smartphone than it is plumbing. We're really leveraging that to solve a medical problem. So with our app, all you need to do is just take your phone, take a picture, and you get a near instantaneous result. When I arrived here in Atlanta to set up my laboratory, this, this young kid came up to me and said, I want to work on something that is directly related to my disease so that I can help patients like myself. He has a disease called beta thalassemia major, which renders him to be severely chronically anemic and he needs blood transfusions every month. Rob is a brilliant computer coder and the fact that he is chronically anemic really enabled him to be the perfect person to do this. Currently, in order to find out if you're anemic, it's actually a pretty involved process. You get a blood test and it will be analyzed on an expensive piece of equipment, but in low resource settings, that's not always the case. The idea for this app really came from old school medicine, where basically the more pale you are, the more likely you are to be anemic. So the technology that I've developed is a smartphone app for diagnosing anemia that works by just taking a picture of your fingernails. The main medical reason that we use fingernails is actually that they don't contain the skin cells that produce pigment. So regardless of your skin tone, your fingernails should be the same color. We found a way to quantify that. We asked trained hematologists to see if they could guess what patient's hemoglobin levels were just based off of the color of their fingernails, and then we had the app do the same thing. Right, right. And so you can kind of see the, the difference in the answers. So this is like the hematologist responses, and you can see they're kind of all over the place. Oh, yeah. But when, when the app does it, oh, wow. it's a lot, more, a lot more accurate. We showed that this app was accurate to within about plus or minus 10% of the gold standard test, the CBC, or the complete blood count this app is potentially replacing this test, which used to A, require a blood draw, B, require a large fancy machine that was centralized in the hospital and technicians to run it, and suddenly move it into the patient's home, not only the home, but then in the patient's palm of their hand. So now you have a capability to really assess and screen your entire population and allocate those rare resources to the patients who need them and do it in a fairly cost-effective manner. This really opens up the field of medicine and medical diagnostics to empower patients themselves to be more in control of their healthcare in a way that was never really possible before.